Hi there, and welcome to a Moodle course. This is a course called TESOL Online with AI Develop, an online course. And we are in week two where participants add tables such as this one. Now I'm going to show you how to ensure that this link, notice I hovered over it, or I can just click on it depending on how it was added, go into the three dots here, this is tiny MCE. Click on that and notice the links were not even added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy each of the links. Okay, here we go. Copy them. And then I'm going to go into link over here, add it once again and set it to open in a new window. And I'll be doing this for each one of these. So our next uh, idea, troubleshooting idea, is to go into Tools, Source, and this time we are going to copy this. So the table starts here. We're going to copy the whole table, not too much. Just this table, because we need the links to be up to the end, I think we're reaching it. There's Padlet, Quizzes, and Ego, and I think we've reached the end. Okay, so that's the end of the table. Right now we're gonna go into ChatGPT and we're gonna ask for activate the, the link, the full URLs and turn. Okay, all right, so let's see what we get here. Okay, so we should be getting everything now. Hopefully, yeah, it is hyperlinked. I can see, and it's go. Notice target equals blank. Uh, that means that they're all going to open in a new window. All right, so let's copy the code. Okay, we've got everything. Oh no, we haven't. Let's wait to the very end. There's more to go here. So let's wait until it's finished. So sometimes it's better to just take the HTML and just add it to, um, chat gpt and then it'll just um, do whatever you want it to do uh, by using a prompt like i did okay so you can see that there's quite a bit here much more than we had before so now i can go back into the course i see that it's finished even though i see something is strange here because the table has not ended oh, please continue i hope it please Continue. Let's see if it continues. Ah, yeah. Okay. Here's the continuation. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So I'll put the first part in. I'll copy the code. I guess it's too much for ChatGPT to do all at once. Okay. Uh, tools, source code, go to the very end. This is what we do as teachers, right? We try to fix things. All right. So that we've got Okay, we'll just end it here, I think. Let me go back to continue this hugging phase. Okay, so let's copy that. And then we'll go back here. And I think that um, we'll get rid of that. And then we'll add hugging face. And there you can see the table has ended. Okay, that's important. Now we're going to save it. And we should have everything. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let's get rid of the first table. And I'm not going to just go through and get rid of it. I'm going to go, and don't be afraid to go into tools and source code. Okay, so that's the top. Let's see the tool. Okay, include the link here. That's the first table. And the first table ends. Remember, we need a table. Okay, we're looking for table to end. Okay, there it is. Okay, so now... Notice the table ended. There's slash, which means it ended. I'm going to delete all of that. And I'm going to save this. Okay, so it's done. That's it. And these will all open. Notice if I click on that, it opens in a new window. So that's a long about way of doing it. So let's just summarize what we did. Let's save it. Uh, what we did, we went into tools source code. We got rid of the table that we had, but before that we copied the HTML of the table and then we asked um, ChatGPT to activate the links. And that's it. 
All right, folks, that's how easy it is. Everything is done. Isn't that lovely? All right, if you have any questions about anything, uh, such hyperlinking, opening a new windows, generico, uh, setting up tables, how to set them up, just let me know in the comment box below. And enjoy your courses. Isn't it great to learn?